Freeway. No. Freeway and the Dalmatian mix. He was jumping after something. He got his head caught in this V of the tree. And I heard this, you know, going crazy. And I'm like, oh my God. And I look out the window and I see he's like scraping on the tree because his head was caught. And I had to come rescue him. She has a yuppie puppy machine, as I was saying. And, uh, she goes up there up to it and pushes the little bone down and gets her treats. Well, I've put, it's dry food with treats in it. And uh, like a little child to look there, oh, I want that kind of treat on the top. Look through there, and, and she'll keep hitting that thing, and food is spilling out. She'll, she'll eat a little bit. She'll look, nope, that tree's not there. Keep hitting it, hitting it. <laughs> Middle of the night, I hear this little and the stuff coming out. Okay, let's see. Ready? Handsome Troubadour. I'll let you know. And we call him Hans for short. But he has to go everywhere we go. And if we when we get ready and leave without him, he gets his leash. He puts you on a guilt trip. And if you don't take him, then he decides to get into everything while you're gone. My dog Bullet walked by the vacuum cleaner and somehow got his foot caught in the cord. <laughs> And um, he took off down the steps with the vacuum cleaner in tow. And the vacuum cleaner followed him down the steps, around the corner, through the living room, through the kitchen, and all the while he's running from it, thinking it's chasing him, barking and crying, and all the dogs are freaking out. And the vacuum cleaner was just bang, bang, all the way around, so. Sage? Sage, what'd you do? Did you make it snow? Did you make it snow? Look what you did. Jasmine, Jasmine, did you help her? Were you part of this? I can't believe you did this. So every time my roommate left his door open, he would take stuff and hide it in the backyard. And when we cleaned up the backyard, we found a wallet, glasses, underwear, socks. He goes, opens a closet door and takes shoes and throws them all over the room and clothes. I mean, all over the room, not just like he's digging to get into the closet. And then he doesn't stay in the closet. He runs from closet to closet. He came through a sliding glass door once. Um, he thought somebody was hurting me. And uh, he came, literally came flying through like Cujo, coming through the sliding glass door. So I had to replace the sliding glass door. So he would get up in the wood, in, in the metal blinds, and you know, tear them to try and look out the window to see the UPS man, because he, he hears the truck. And we were coming, uh, driving down the road, and he just jumped out the window of the car and moving car, we're driving down the road, and decided he was going to go swimming. He would get into bed and kind of use it for a litter box. And they had new new sheets, new comforter that worked, you know. And she pissed. And uh, oh, he peed on my bedroom mattress once too so had like seven sets of sheets in three three days and i'm like yeah. i ended up actually sitting up one night until three o'clock in the morning waiting on my sheets to get clean so i could sleep in a bed with sheets on it we debate whether he needs to stay in the house or outside and he proceeded to stand like a stallion and just in the bed pee about a gallon on the floor <laughs> And we decided he needs to go outside. <laughs> Why do you pee on the floor? I don't personally pee on the floor. I am potty trained. We moved around a lot, and every place we put the piano is where the, the dogs would go to the bathroom. I don't know what it is, but they must feel they're either private or they like the elegance of it. We came home from a little trip and found that she had climbed in the bathtub to do her business rather than do it on the floor where her food and her water was. And when you put him in a crate, he threw up and had diarrhea <laughs> every time. <laughs> there was diarrhea on the wall, on the furniture, everywhere. That's always a lot of fun, getting a dog on a leash who just freaks and it's just flinging everything within his body uh, all over the room. Chewing? What do you think? She's done a lot of chewing. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. 
Check it out. He ate a friend of mine's Bible, so he's not a very religious dog. I mean, she tore up couch. It looked like beaver ate it and chewed on the wood. And, and in five minutes, he had two chairs torn totally up. I mean, just all of it was gone. You couldn't even sit on him because you'd fall right through. That's how bad it was. He chewed up the wooden the rocking chair, you know, the glider rocker. He made toothpicks out of it. Um, he ate my dining room table. He started at the legs and chewed up. Had eaten my quilt, had eaten my pillows, and had eaten my wicker bed. <laughs> and she'd taken her teeth and went along all the carved rail on our bed and took out chunks of wood. And I left uh, Jack in the truck one day, and I no longer had a dash after a while. His gear shift was gone. You know, the little knob for the gear shift was, was nothing but disintegrated teeth marks. <laughs> there were soda cans strewn all over in the laundry room with puncture holes and then with soda all over the place. One time I caught him with a dollar bill in his mouth and uh, I had to chase him for that thing. I didn't want... <laughs> I don't want money ripped up. Aha! Oh, here's something else. My favorite belt. My favorite belt. Oh, guess I can't use that. I've come home and had sweaters shredded. Mark